Hello and welcome back. So in this episode, we're going to have a look at creating our first overlays. Um, we're going to create one for the male and one for the female. So to kick things off, uh, possibly one of the easiest things we can do is to put a tattoo on our character here. Okay. So what I've done, I've gone onto the internet and I found this lovely tattoo image. Um, I've specifically searched for a PNG because I wanted a transparent background, so this will make life a whole lot easier. I've saved that to my desktop, and that's what I want to put on my Uma's arm. Okay, so back into Blender. Um, let's just have a look around our character, and I think uh, let's have it up here on the bicep. I think that should be nice. That's where we're going to put it. Okay, so let's have a look in the material settings for our Uma. Um, we happen to know that this is part of the torso, so this is one of the torso textures. If we have a look at the maps for our torso, um, I tell you what, let's just change this hierarchy to visible layers and give ourselves some more room here. So we have our four maps. We could paint directly onto the skin, but it's a bit messy. I don't like to do that. It will be better if we create a brand new layer and build our tattoo on there. Okay, so I'm going to click a new image layer. I'm going to click this new button here and it will generate as a new image. Um, and down here, I'm going to say I want to create a new file. Okay, so this builds a slot when we say new and this one actually creates a new file. And this is where we get to define the width and the height. Um, it's best to go quite high on here. You can always reduce the resolution down. Um, I'm going to try out 2048 by 2048 here. Feel free to go up to 4096 if you want. Um, I'm going to call this image, uh, let's call it, yeah, let's call it fish tattoo. Lovely. And the color, I'm going to just go into the color selector and I'm going to dial back the alpha so we get a transparent basic image and I'm going to hit OK. So that has given me an alpha empty texture just so we can see in the preview I'm going to hit show alpha. OK so we now have a transparent texture on our guy. OK so uh, next I'm going to head over into texture paint mode and over here um, you may begin in the slots panel uh, or in the tools panel um, I'm just going to head down to slots I'm going to select the torso and what I should see now that I've created that in my available paint slots I should be able to see this fish tattoo item so now if I go into the tools and I start to draw I'm actually drawing and you can see it appearing there on that texture okay um, just so you get a bit of an idea you could sit and draw a tattoo like this it's absolutely fine um, we can also delete on here by going into our blend mode and saying erase alpha and uh, that will allow us to delete um, I'm not going to do that we're not going to draw like that we downloaded a lovely fish tattoo and that's what we're going to use so you've seen there I went back to mix mode so to actually put uh, or project an image onto something um, let's just rotate around sort of the angle we want uh, down here in the brush panel or the tools panel I'm going to open the texture slot and in here I want to add a new texture and it's going to call this texture 001 I'm going to call this tattoo texture so what to bear in mind in here is this is a brush texture this isn't a texture that's on our character this is to do with a brush and to actually load that into there we need to head over to this panel and on the texture list, if I just scroll up, you can see this is currently showing all the textures on the materials. If I hit this button here, this will show all of the textures that are associated with brushes. Okay? And you can see it's actually picked up my tattoo texture. So I can open, and if I look on my desktop, I'm sure amongst lots and lots of other things, I should have my fish tattoo. There it is. So I'm going to open that image, and there you go, you can see that. Um, again, the alpha doesn't show on here, but that will be there. So we now have our fish tattoo ready to rock. Okay, so once we've got that tattoo in there, um, 
instead of using tiled, if I start painting now, you can see I start to get this fish tattoo tiled all over my character. I don't want that. I'm going to switch the brush mapping to stencil. And what that'll do when I move into the screen, it brings it onto the actual screen for me to project. Um, I'm going to right click on the image and just drag it over where I want it. Um, if I shift right click, I can scale it. Again, left and right allows you to scale uh, non-uniformly, uh, so it is up and down. Um, if I move diagonally, when I've got shift selected, I can scale uniformly as well. So I think that looks about right. Okay, that's good. We can also, I believe it's, um, let's have a look, is it control and right click? allows you to rotate as well. So I'm going to get that positioned where I want. I'm going to head over here, make sure I'm in mix mode. I'm going to pick white because I want to put the full color in. And if I just paint over the top of that, you can see I've made a mistake straight away. If I just move away, that overlay will disappear. I've got this strange blue color. That's because I'm over here on the color wheel. That's not what I want. So let's just undo. Select that colour and say, I want this to be white. Okay, or near enough. Okay, let's say 111. Lovely, that's better. So now when I paint that white, there we go, that paints or transfers that image onto my character. And there we go. If I move away now, let's just turn stencil mode off uh, back to tiles just so we can see that's what I'm getting on my image that's lovely okay and again if we go back to our material images what you should see very tiny here because this remember this texture covers the entire body but there it is you can just to say see it on our actual texture so that's great we've actually created a new texture what I want to do is uh, export that and use that as an overlay on my Uma so I'm just going to drag out a new window here and I'm going to change it to uh, the UV image editor so you zoom out a little and again um, just on the view here I'm going to turn off my UVs because this shows every single UV mesh that we've got for our unified character just makes it confusing so I'm going to turn that off and there is our image ready to export again the alpha shows up as uh, black so don't panic about that if I go down here, you can see there's a star next to the image. That tells me it's not been saved. So if I open that up, say save as image. And again, I'm going to pop this on my desktop. And it's going to call it fish tattoo PNG. Save as image. Okay. And that's it. That, that has created a texture that is ready to be used as an overlay. So for completeness, let's uh, let's create an overlay to go on our female character as well. Um, this time, uh, probably something that is very, very useful, I'm going to do some makeup on the character. Now this shows a couple of different problems that you might encounter. Um, so let's have a look at it. First of all, uh, the eyelashes are going to get in my way, so I'm just going to turn those off. That's great. Um, and basically with this one, I need to do the same thing. I need to go over to my material select the face and I'm going to create um, a new material to work on so again I'm just going to turn this to visible layers give myself some more room create a new texture so that slot's been created and we'll call this makeup and down here create a new texture or image file to go on there again um, this is going to be on a head image and heads tend to be, um, let's go 2048 by 120, they tend to be twice as wide as they are tall. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter, but if you want it to match up with the base texture, then you want it in this aspect ratio. Um, again, we'll call this makeup, and we will change the base color and take that alpha right down, just so we've got a good start where we're transparent hit OK and that should get us going uh, so we'll head over into texture paint mode um, and we can start picking a color and we can paint whatever we want onto our character's face
One thing that you may come across, which I don't particularly like, is when I paint across the eye, um, I actually start painting the eyeball. And what's happening here, again, if we look at the eye texture, you can see that is actually painting onto the diffuse channel of the eye. So a little bit unusual that it's it's not something that I want to happen. Um, so what I'm going to do over here, I'm actually in the eye just temporarily. I'm going to create another texture. So I'm going to say a new texture. I'm going to call this delete me. Yep. Uh, again, let's create an image on there and call this one delete me and press OK. So effectively, we're going to create a, a layer which we can remove afterwards. OK. So back onto the face, which is the one we're interested in. If I'm in texture paint mode um, and I go to my slots, I need to ensure that on the face I'm actually painting on makeup. If I go to the eyes, I'm going to make sure that I'm, see this is why it painted on the, the diffuse channel. I'm going to say paint on delete me. Okay. So on face, we're on makeup, on eyes, we're on delete me. Beautiful. So now we can start painting. So again, I'm going to pick a nice color. Let's find some dark brownie sort of color here. Again, I'm sure you can spend a lot more time than me on this. I'm also going to put a symmetry on down at the bottom in X. So whatever I do on this side will appear on the other side. That's great. I'm just going to do some basic, not very good makeup again. I should get my wife to help me with this, but that's <laughs> really just to show you what you can do. Um, I'm going to mess around. Again, you can mess around with the strength of this. I'm going to change brushes to the soften brush. Um, yeah, that's not going to cut it for me. <laughs> Let's go back to the, the normal brush. And I'm going to change to uh, erase alpha and turn my strength down to about 0.1. So now I can gradually soften these edges. Let's turn mess about with this strength there we go and you can see I can blend that in a little bit better so it doesn't look quite as ridiculous there we go again I'd expect you to be spending a lot of time on this whereas I'm just very quickly trying to show you what to do soften that a little okay and again let's go back in let's pick um, hmm Let's go back to mix and pick a much darker color. Uh, so again, something really dark. Let's zoom right in and put some eyeliner on. There already is some there actually on that uh, on the base model. Let's turn my strength up so I get a much darker shot. There we go. Turn that strength up. And again, you can see I'm painting on that eyeball, but I'm not bothered. That's part of the delete me texture we created. Looks very spooky, doesn't it? <laughs> so again, that's that's the basics of it. We could do something such as uh, pick a nice red colour and start painting the lips in and put a bit of colour on here. Yep, see where I'm terrible at putting lipstick on. Again, erase alpha. I can put that strength right back up and carve that back off and just make a tidier job of it. Okay, so now I'm there. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. If I don't want to see this horrible business on the eyes, I can go back to the eyes, find that color map, and I can remove, delete me. There we go. That's not bad for a bloke, is it? Yeah, okay. So <laughs> let's go back to... Uh, the um, material for the face look at the textures there it is makeup so I want to export that so let's open up a new window change it to a UV editor uh, again you can see we've got that different aspect that we set up I'm going to again just turn off this draw the UVs that's roughly what I've got um, now, if you look, that's looking at delete me. That's not the one I want to export. If I press this button here, it lets me look at all the images I've got set up. So I want to look for, there it is, makeup. 
that's it. That looks quite comical, doesn't it, without the alpha on it? Okay, again, image, save as image, and once again on my desktop, I'm going to call this makeup. Save as image. Brilliant. So we have created two overlays or two textures which we can now use as overlays. So let's head over into Unity and make those into usable overlays. So here we are back in Unity and as you can see from this running example I have uh, an UMA set up. Um, I've got some clothes on depending on whether it's male or female so if I swap over um, yeah got some hair looks like a real person okay and what I've also done I've imported and made two folders here so I've made a makeup folder and put the makeup texture in there and you can see it and I've made a tattoo folder and put the fish tattoo in there as well so let's turn these into overlays um, so first thing let's do the tattoo for a male character so yeah so in this tattoo folder I'm going to right click and say create and down at Uma I'm going to say in the core I want an overlay asset okay and that will create this thing here we'll call this um, fish tattoo overlay good a name as any Again, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in its display name up here. Okay, so the most important thing when you're setting up an overlay is to set up the material um, right down the bottom. For me, that should be at the top, but still, there we go. This material, um, an overlay will only work on a slot that has the same material designated. Um, so if we pull this down, these aren't normal materials, these are UMA materials, so it's a special type of component. If we open this up, um, you can see these are all the UMA materials that we've got, and a standard UMA uses this UMA Diffuse Normal Metallic material. We're going to have a good look at these, what they're for, and how to create our own later on, but for now, just remember this UMA Diffuse Normal Metallic. So I'm going to select that material. When we look at this, there are several things you need to be aware of. Uh, but one of the most important things is how many color channels it's expecting. Now, I'll show you where to find that later on, but for now, uh, all you need to know is this particular one uses a diffuse, a normal, a, a metallic map. So we need to make three textures. Now, if this was a base texture or a base overlay, something that's going to go onto a mesh directly, all of these textures need something in them. So it does need a diffuse, a normal, and a metallic. However, if it is a secondary overlay, like this one, so our tattoo is actually going to sit over the top of another overlay, which is the skin, then we only need to put um, one in. We don't need all of them in there. So we could just put um, a normal map in there, which would make, I don't know, maybe would make wrinkles on a character. For us, we want to put in an actual texture, which is our fish tattoo. So I'm going to drop the fish tattoo in here. And there we go. That's it. We've created an overlay. Uh, to get that to work, we need to put that onto a wardrobe recipe, don't we? So let's go into Uma and let's bring up the global library and add our fish tattoo into there and we should see this overlay data asset increase there we go so that's now part of the library Uma knows about it and let's create ourselves a wardrobe recipe so we can actually just attach this to our Uma so I'm going to go create Uma DCS wardrobe recipe okay and we'll call this fish tattoo recipe good First thing I need to do, let's uh, click on here and say this works with a male and a male DCS. So we now have our compatibility set up. The wardrobe slot, we want this to be, now if you look, there is already a tattoo slot set up, which is great. So I'm going to say I want that to be on there. We don't suppress or hide anything. What we do want is to set up which slot this goes on. Uh, now if I click here, wow bewildering array of slots um, but if we go down here I'm sure it is the Uma human male 
torso that's the one so select that and onto here we're going to add our overlay so we're not actually adding another torso to our character it'll find this uh, torso that's already on our Uma and it will add this overlay to it okay so that is our wardrobe recipe set up um, so we need again let's open up the global library window let's add our recipe to to it and there we go that went up by one so this should now be usable very quickly we can check that so we'll hit play there's our character let's just open these default recipes we should be able to drag this on and see this appear on his arm bam there we go so let's go into scene mode and have a little look around okay the resolution of my character is not particularly good but there is our tattoo as we made it now if like me you're not particularly happy with the resolution that's come out um, I mean if we look very quickly at the actual image again it's not massively high resolution but it looks a little bit better than what it does on our Uma um, there is a pretty simple reason for this which I'm going to show you what Uma does when you initially uh, generate a character it tries to reduce the textures as much as possible and compress them so naturally to begin with it will halve the resolution of any texture that you put onto an Uma we can stop it doing that um, and we can fine-tune it so this is where you give that trade-off between performance uh, and resolution so it all depends on what you want in your game um, the way we adjust this is if we have a look at this Uma DCS prefab which until now we've just simply left in our scene but if we open it up you can see there's lots of different things in here and we'll maybe have a bit of a look at these later on but what I'm interested in now is this Uma generator and this is the thing that does all of the work that combines everything together and directs the the building of an Uma <clears throat> and what you can see in here there's a number of things that we shouldn't really touch but um, one thing here is we can set a resolution for the entire texture atlas for one character so this is at 4096 at the moment um, we can increase that but what I'm interested in is this initial scale factor which is set to 2 and this will reduce our textures by half so if I let's just play again go back to my scene view and let's just zoom in and you should see yep not very good if I go in here change that scale factor to 1 run again and again let's look at the scene view this is now the exact resolution that I exported my uh, actual fish tattoo at so there we go very easy to make an overlay and you've also learnt something about the Uma generator and how it optimizes your characters. Okay, so let's do that again. And let's do this one for a female character this time. So we'll leave our generator on one to one with our uh, textures. We'll switch over to a female. Remember, because that recipe was set for male only, this won't appear on a female. Um, so let's do the makeup. So again, create Uma core overlay asset again we'll call this makeup overlay and I'm going to just copy that and paste that in here so we've got a name in here again material very very important we'll go for our Uma diffuse normal metallic it has three channels so we'll add those but we only need to fill one in which is our makeup diffuse element so that's the diffuse uh, that looks good overlay is ready uh, let's very quickly open the global library and add that to it in fact I'm going to dock that up here because we're going to use that again in a second so next I'm going to go create Uma DCS wardrobe recipe and we're going to call this makeup recipe looks good uh, over here the races will have this one as human female and human female DCS okay they're in there uh, the slot 
um, we'll put this on complexion so uh, again we can have a look at these we can add our own but we'll stick with complexion at the moment um, again we need to know what head slot our or what mesh our female character is using now I can't remember so I'm going to go and have a look so if we go into Uma um, let's have a little look in here the Uma core the Uma human female uh, recipes and I want the base recipes so let's have a look at the um, DCS version if I go in the slots collapse everything we should be able to see our F high poly head so it's Uma human female head mid slot in fact I can inspect and it should actually find it in the hierarchy for me so there it is so back to my recipe makeup recipe and I can put this head mid slot in here okay and now I can add my newly created overlay to that so makeup overlay in there and that's it that should work so again let's head back to the hierarchy pick our player so we can see everything that's on there we've switched over to female uh, let's run give myself some room and I'm just going to move my camera around here so I should be able to drop that overlay on and we should see some very poorly designed makeup go on to our character so here we go and 10 points for guessing why that didn't work yes those of you who got it we did not add that to our global library did we so I'll pop that in there actually let's just open this up so we can see that it does go on so I want to see these wardrobe recipes should go up by one let's add that in there there we go so let's try again and again into the scene fingers crossed when I put this on here there you go my awful makeup has been added to an Uma so if you think about it you can do all sorts of different things with that um, let's just switch back to the male there's his tattoo let's switch back to the female there's a makeup um, if you're clever you can sit and create uh, I don't know injuries uh, you could create bandages you could do all sorts of different things to your Uma just by creating an overlay slot like that so hope you enjoyed that uh, have fun and I'll see you in the next episode and once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.